Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to my channel. Eat healthy, get rich, drink good beer. Today, I have a fantastically easy recipe to teach you. It involves whitefish. In fact, I'm gonna teach you two recipes because we're gonna use the same fish and marinate into two different dishes. My name is Taranjit Singh Rai and I teach university going students, college going students to save for their marriage, to save for deposit for the house and if you are adult, lifelong learner, maybe help you to save towards paying off that mortgage. For this dish, you need white fish. This has been caught in the wild in the Pacific Ocean. It was frozen before. Yes, you, you heard it right. This was a frozen fish. I have defrosted it. So, it's just from Iceland guys, okay? It's, it's not that expensive. It was caught in Pacific Ocean and it is called Pacific Pollock. Caught using trawls, hooks and lines in uh, the Pacific Ocean. You need butter chicken. Yes, you're gonna cheat. You cannot cheat in your exams, but you can cheat in my cooking. Remember, no rules. So who says you can't use butter chicken to cook fish? Boiled potatoes, and I have just glazed them with butter and uh, parsley and a little bit of garlic. You need salt, pepper, parsley, black olives, mushrooms, onions, washed and ready to go, pepper, cucumber, lettuce, and tomatoes. These will form the salad. Okay guys, so all I've done is squeeze a little bit of lime, salt and pepper uh, on uh, this uh, salad. For one marination, I have just added a little bit of olive oil, parsley, olives. At the base, there is mushrooms, onions. Usually I like to put red pepper uh, and then yellow pepper, but that was not available in the fridge. So I just, just use mushrooms and onions. The second marination is just that butter chicken sauce. Again, you have mushrooms, onions, and then the white fish and the butter chicken sauce. I'm gonna close these parcels like this. And this will sit at room temperature for two to three hours. Let's introduce beer of the day. It's Dumbar, it's really light. It's really, really crispy and goes well with this type of the food. As always, I'm not gonna wait till the fish is cooked or marinated. I'm gonna start now. This is a really, really nice beer. It's only 4% alcohol. The purpose of this channel is to encourage responsible drinking. You should enjoy the alcohol. Alcohol should not enjoy you. Before I introduce this talk, I'm just gonna very briefly mention uh, GameStop because I think that's an issue which is central. I think what Robin Hood did was absolutely illegal. Someone has to go to the jail. They, they broke the law. They named themselves Robin Hood. Uh, but it should be Hood Robin actually because they're not taking from the rich giving to the poor they are actually taking from the poor and giving to the rich it's, it's wisdom of the crowd guys uh, these uh, guys in the suit they don't understand millennials they don't understand the kids every generation is smarter than the next generation they cannot grasp this concept wisdom of the crowd is gonna win in the end uh, per person like me can analyze all the uh, financials can present it to you and you guys can go and, and, and analyze and then you can make a decision whether to invest or not. What these guys have done is restricted our ability to make capital. Whereas they can make capital, we were stopped from making capital. So what are you gonna do about it? You're gonna rant it on YouTube or do something about it? So here's what I've done. So I emailed uh, my local politician. I will copy and paste this text into the description. Please contact your politician raise this issue the local politician has come back to me and he said taranjit thank you very much for getting in touch i share your concerns i will raise this with the colleagues on the finance committee and ask that that they raise these issues so rather than moaning about it guys let's do something about it every single politician uh, should should be uh, contacted and they should try to do something about it all the brokers they they need to some kind of compensate us traders who missed out Guys, the stock I want to talk to you is HCMC, uh, Healthier Choices Management Corp. I am following this company since uh, late November. I decided to invest in December. I got into really, really, really cheap. So uh, there was a lockdown in Northern Ireland, was open for a brief time. I decided uh, the boys wanted to go out for drinks and uh, I, I just said, you know what, no, I'm not gonna go out. 
I'm gonna skip one night out and invest in this company. The reasons uh, for investing in this company were purely non-due diligence related. This is a very small company taking on Philip Morris. Philip Morris makes cigarettes. Those cigarettes are causing lung cancer all over the world. I have worked in Beetson Institute of Cancer Research in Glasgow and uh, for five years CR UK Cancer Research UK paid my salary and I was doing uh, research into cancer and cigarette is one of the biggest risk factor for not only lung cancer but also other cancers. So I, this is a David versus Goliath battle and I thought I'll just help the little guy even though I have done no due diligence whatsoever. And my only aim was that I, if, if I make anything big on this uh, company, I will donate 10% of my profits to CRUK or cancer related charities, which is still the goal. And uh, guys, it has gone crazy. Uh, so if you look into my history of uh, uh, at CMC, the first time I tried to buy this was on December 30 and trading to one to for some reason, uh, it's it's they will not process the order the company is not bad actually the financials they are bringing in like 10 to 15 million revenue a year they have several vaping stores you know what guys I, I have not enough evidence whether vaping is safe or not but at least it is still better than smoking in my honest opinion I think uh, it, it is still preventing smoke uh, going into the atmosphere and as you all know I only invest in healthier companies if you look into my investments, they are KWBT, they are in Aqua Bounty, they are in Neo, Xpang Li. So for, for me, even though I don't have much evidence how safer it is as compared to cigarettes, but just for the notion of it, I feel that the world has to move, well, has to quit smoking. However, if they're not quitting, maybe this is a good alternative. So those were the reasons why I invested uh, in this company. But I want to show you how persistent I was because trading 212 did not help me. They either uh, just completely rejected my orders or I had to cancel my orders because I was waiting way, way too long. I hit jackpot on January 14th. As you can see, they processed two orders. So uh, I, had, I have 1 million shares and I only spent like 70 pounds or something. And I'm already like, I don't know, 500, 600% up. And guys, just be very careful. The Twitter is full of this stock being pumped. Uh, the, the people are tagging Elon Musk. I, I feel very uncomfortable uh, making a video, but one of my subscribers really, really wanted me to make this video. This stock is gonna be very, very volatile. Please take your initial investment off as soon as possible. Let's just have a quick dive, dive into, the, uh, into this company. So I read this from 8K. Uh, which is to me pretty exciting because uh, they have formed this subsidiary that will hold, I think, around more than 40 patents. So guys, everyone is fixed on this court case. That's not just it. They have more than 40 patents that they can license to big companies and have recurrent revenues. If they win against Philip Morris, I think this stock's gonna go parabolic. There's no question about it. But I used to run a finance company, I'm telling you, 99% of the time I wanted to settle outside court. I think this is purely speculative, but I think it's gonna they're gonna settle it out of the court. And there are hundreds and like there are billions of shares outstanding. So why can't Philip Morris just go in and just buy all those stocks? They have so much cash in hand. Uh, why can't, uh, if, if, if they have agreed some kind of uh, settlement, why can't this company just buy and retire the shares? This is all speculation. Uh, so much can happen, but if this stock goes to one pound, guys, I'll have like one million pounds, hundred thousand pounds of that will go to Cancer Research UK or, or uh, and related to lung cancer research. But this is all pure speculation. Even if it goes to 10p, I will make hundred thousand pounds. So 10,000 pounds are going to CR UK. So this is a purely speculative play for me. Okay, guys. I am not a financial advisor. I make videos for entertainment purposes only. Uh, I have no financial qualifications. This stock can go down to zero. If someone is holding a billion shares and suddenly they dump it on the market, the share price is gonna go crazy, you know? So just be very, very careful guys with this stock. I've just had a quick look at the company. The, the, the website is pretty slick. Uh, they actually have lots and lots of products uh, in the penny, this is not even a penny guys this is like 
0.00001 penny. I don't know. It's it's gone up to 0.0009 now, but it's still crazy cheap. And and I, I don't want to go into financials, honestly. However, looking into the uh, board of directors and who are the people who are managing this company, always say this, guys, look at the management for penny stocks. Do not look at their loans. Do not look at their outstanding shares. This guy, Jeffrey Hoffman, seems like a decent uh, professional. He's actually a lawyer. <laughs> I think he has skin in the game. Uh, and uh, the law firm representing uh, this company is pretty reputable. So. I, I think uh, I think we are on to something here, but again, it's all pure speculation. Uh, Clifford Friedman was actually on, uh, let me see if it is New York uh, Stock Exchange. One of them actually was uh, Chief Financial Officer or Chief Operation Officer in, in, in NYSE listed company. So I think this is a good team. Um, NASDAQ uh, published an article on 27th uh, about this uh, uh, stock and the Twitter and, and the Scott tweets and, and the Discord channels, they have absolutely gone crazy. I don't like it, but, but there is so much pump going on with this stock. That's why I'm saying just be very careful. Take off your 100% investment. I have opportunity to do that already because I'm already like seven, 800% up. Again, I, it's 84 million uh, market cap here. Let's not just go, these numbers are just, you know, it's just crazy but they have been trading billions of shares every day for the last few days. The volume is just crazy, but because they have so many shares outstanding, it will take some time uh, to, to move this uh, stock. But the, the stuff I've seen on Twitter, uh, stock tweets, Discord channels, is just, just absolutely crazy, guys. So that's all I want to say about this stock. Uh, all the best and be just be very careful. Take your 100% off and uh, pledge all my subscribers, please pledge if you do make big money on this stock. We are donating this to Cancer Research UK or uh, cancer charities of your choice. Guys, if you like my video, please share them. Please click the like button. Please subscribe. Let's spread the word. Let's benefit as many as young people possible, as many as adults possible. Let's have a quick check on the fish. So I cooked it for 10 minutes with everything closed for 15 minutes with, with open. I did put some spray olive oil on top so that it doesn't dry. Let's have a look. Look at this guys. Absolutely looks delicious to me. Yes, it is. it was frozen fish. Yes, uh, I bought it from a really cheap store. But remember, we are saving money so that we can invest and we can grow our portfolio. Yes, it is not like your fishmonger special. Yes, it is not like your artisan coffee or what. But you know what guys, it does the job. It's wild fish. It has more protein content than your farmed fish, which has a lot of fat content. So it does the job guys. You have nutrition, you have vitamins, you have protein. What else you need? Time for a taste test. The I have taken a very small portion of the butter chicken fish. I have taken a big uh, portion of the fish that was cooked with olive, uh, olives and, and, and parsley. Let's, let's have a go. If, if your knife goes very, very easily through the fish, that means it's cooked. As always, I'm gonna say, you can cook it a little bit more. It doesn't matter, guys. This is absolutely amazing, guys. The olives, the parsley, the lemon. Let's see if this goes well with this uh, combo. Try this combo guys and I'll see you in next video.